Ant-Man and the Wasp. After the Infinity War, we need something a little bit light, something that makes us smile, something lighter. And Paul Rudd, as an Ant-Man, did great three years ago. He's coming out with the Wasp now. You're waiting three years for this? It's going to be good? You're going to make us smile? It's going to be a light up Marvel like we all expected? I think, oh, wait, he's happy. It's catching up. Yeah, baby. Your reviews coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Ant Man and the Wasp. We wait three years for this, even so, the Civil War. When the Ant Man appeared, it was almost two years ago. And this is a movie that come back after what happened with the Civil War. Ah, uh, Paul Rudd, Evangelina Lilly, Michael Douglas, Michael Peña, all the gangs back again to this movie. And uh, coming back from the theater, of course, pack, opening day. And uh, all I can tell you is, Paul Rudd was the best choice to do Ant-Man. This movie is a refresh movie that we need after what happened with the <laughs> Avengers. Uh, we need something light, we need something with a comedy, we need something we can laugh, we need something with an adventure, we need something different, a little bit lighter. And this is what you need. All it started, Paul Rudd, of course, the Ant Man, uh, is being under house arrest for two years, and after that, will be on probation for three years. All the consequences of whatever happened at the Civil War, and we already know what happened because he was part of that mission. They give you a break, and a lot of people are in house arrest. He's on one of them. He can leave, but he have his daughter coming back and play with him. And you see the, the family side of him. And this is a Marvel movie, and probably the only Marvel movie that's really more a family oriented and more that show the character of the family and the kids and the story more than the villain because Thanos, you can't compare. There is no more villains that can compare with Thanos. So whatever we have here, we got the ghost, and we have another guy from Mr. Gangster who try to sell a part. The Dr. Pine, who just Michael Douglas create uh, to go back to the quantum where his wife is missing for the past 39 years, and uh, or 30 something years, and uh, and this is part of the mission. It's just they need him to help him to go back to the quantum to, to, to see if they can save his wife and especially her mother. You see many images around here from the trailers. Honestly, this is a movie a little bit more than two hours and um, it's a fun movie. And I can tell you from the beginning, make sure as you know, my buddy Walter, Watch the movie with me, he loved the movie, and I can tell you, from now, he couldn't come here today to be with us, because you are part of us, and um, from the beginning, I'm going to tell you, this is a must go. This is a movie that give you laugh, they give you entertainment, they give you a, an action, a special effects awesome, when you're going from big to one, well directed, which is the same guy who directed the first one. And uh, Michael Douglas, it's what I see in the beginning, and few in the middle. That when uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, who played the mother, um, and Michael Douglas, they are, when they are young, I don't know how they do the CGI, but my God, these people look real, like they really are 30 years younger. I mean, kudos for that. It looks amazing and again this is a movie there's a lot of relation with the kid his kid and then the fighting and if i go back to do this i can lose my kid 
It's a great family. It's not to bring little kids to this movie. Because in the theater was somebody who brought a little kid crying all the time. Be conscious as a parent. Don't ruin somebody else's experience because you don't have a babysitter. Come on, man. Give me a break. Don't bring little kids to watch this movie. This is not a little kid movie because it's called the Ant-Man and the Wasp. But it's a must go. Absolutely, it's not a go. It's, it's a great Marvel movie. And again, this is the 20 movie of Marvel. It can't go wrong. I mean, really. Maybe one there, ah, oh, okay. This is great movie. Some critics maybe don't going to like it because it's too light, because it's too soft, because the villain is not a great villain. Again, I don't know how we're going to get another villain like Thanos. But what I can tell you, the movie is great. It's exactly two hours and a few minutes, two hours and 10 minutes, around two hours. It's there for the credits. It's one scene in the end of the credits and the middle of the credits. That I, uh, I can't say, but if you see the Infinity War, you're gonna say, Are you kidding me? And the end is another scene, funny, you can miss it, but don't miss it. It's take a couple more minutes and watch it, it's funny. Uh, but in the middle of the credits, that scene is gonna just get you. Remember, this movie is the one and only this year from Marvel, Marvel Studios. Then we have Venom, now they have to do with the MCU uh, universe. So until Captain Marvel is star before the Avengers, Infinity War number two, I don't know what they're gonna call it. And uh, this is it. It did we have for eight, nine months, this is it. And that scene is awesome. The movie is great. The acting for Rat is awesome, super funny, and Michael Pena, kudos, my friend, I love you. You are so good in this movie. I mean, thank God they give you more part, and you're gonna be part of this Ant-Man, and who knows what else they're gonna bring you. But whatever they do, more Michael Pena, because he's awesome. Evangelina was great. I mean, really, technically, She's still a little bit of the action, most of the actions is her. If you think about it, that's the first female Marvel action hero that we see by himself, technically. Because the other ones are always part of the Avengers and part of the old Iron Man, but or the Civil War, but they're not really like a main cast. And she did a great job. So again, this is a great movie, it's a must-see. It's a must watch. Go and watch it. Pay, don't pay. Movie pass, whatever you are in the world, you deserve to have a good time with this movie. I hope you enjoy what I say. If you like what I say, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you feel different by the movie, make a comment. That would be great. But if you like what I do, just subscribe. My face will yell in the bottom. All the other reviews are in the side. Until the next time, support your theater, support your movies, support your video games, support everything you have in entertainment. Until the next time, ciao.